one of the greatest guitarists in life itself and definitely one of the biggest egos of all time. But when you play guitar that well, you get to have an ego that big. And I got to see him in concert not even five minutes away from where I sit. Was it the greatest concert ever? Sorry, but nothing will ever top the April 21st, 2012 Rammstein concert I saw in Tampa, Florida, but it certainly was up there. But definitely a concert worth talking about. So I turned up the venue, the Maxwell C. King Center in Melbourne, Florida, at about 5.30 p.m. And while I was waiting, I made conversation with some of the people standing outside and waiting in line. A couple consisting of a British man with a Steve Vai hat on and a girl wearing the Ingve Hu shirt. I believe their names were Richard and Janine. I hope I didn't get that wrong in case they're watching this, but they were very friendly with me and we got into some great conversations. And as it turned out, they had paid for a meet and greet with Ingve. And being that I'm a pro college student who spends all of his money on concerts, Blaze Bailey albums, and donating money to Razor Fist Arcade streams, I wasn't able to pay the $400 fee in meeting Ingve Momstein, but this couple, out of the pure kindness of their hearts and being amazing people, offered to have one of the vinyls that came with their purchase of the meet and greet signed with my name on it. I was absolutely without words. I mean, this was just completely amazing. The meet and greet happened right before the concert started and out they walked and handed me this. There are no words to describe how thankful I am to them for this. So, the opening band finishes right around 8 p.m. on the dot. I like, literally checked my watch. As soon as my watch turned to 8, they pretty much left the stage. And they let us in. I found my seat. And the concert for Ingve started about 8.15, 8.30. I was absolutely blown away. Fucking literally. Between the wall of marshals and the keyboardist being hooked up to the PA system, I could literally feel my bones vibrating. The set list was decent, unfortunately lacking the Eclipse era songs, but probably for the best considering either Ingve or the Hispanic Hobbit behind those keyboards took on the vocal duties. And I mean, it's not like they're the worst vocalists to scour the face of the earth. I mean, Axl Rose and Courtney Love still exist after all, but Ingve or Nick Moreno, if that's his name, I don't know. They're just not anywhere close to Yoran Edmond, Mark Bowles, Ripper Owens, or Joe Lynn Turner, but I mean, I guess I'd take them over Jeff Scott Soto, Mike Viscara, or whoever the fuck is Steve Vai had when they covered Iron Maiden's The Trooper any day in the fucking week. You'll take my life and I'll take your steel. You'll buy your musket and I'll run you through. But why are you waiting for the next attack? You better stay. In all, it was an amazing concert. Initially, I actually invited Razor Fist to come to the concert, but he ended up politely declining. Oh, uh, let's see. Richard Michael Egan donates $5. Thanks, bro! I have two tickets to see Ying Vei in Melbourne. Oh, God. Uh, you poor bastard. This November uh, 12th. Second ticket is... I wonder I wonder if he's gonna play... He says the second ticket is yours if you want it. <laughs> in Melbourne? <laughs> uh, Melbourne, Florida. Oh! <laughs> no, that's cool. You to get, take your girl, man. Or, or if you don't have a girl, ask her out, bro. Or, or a fella. Steady fella. I don't, I don't know what the fuck. Also, that would mean having to go to Florida. Also, I mean... it would mean having to see Ingve without a vocalist. <laughs> and in the off chance you're watching this razor, you probably would have hated it anyway, given the set list and Ingve singing. I gave the ticket to my surrogate brother, so I mean, in the end, it was a great night for both of us. And hey, I even technically got a selfie with Ingve. Sort of. <laughs> I guess that counts for something, right? Right? 
but I certainly want to extend my heartfelt thanks to Richard and Janine Crane, again, I hope that's your names, for being incredibly too kind in giving me the signed vinyl. And a shout out to the tech Kenny who gave me a guitar pick. Uh, with Ingve's signature on it. It was really cool of him to do that. He didn't have to, and he was really cool. Again, I met some pretty fucking great people, and I want to thank them for it. The only bad thing about the concert, I have to say, and this is really just a minor thing, was it was the final concert of the tour, and they were sold out of, you know, shirts. But, I mean, I can resort to buying one online on the Ingve store, but... It would have been nice to have a shirt from the actual concert, but hey, look at what I have in the fucking meantime. You know, I can't complain, not even a little bit. So, long live fucking Ingve Malmsteen and his rising force, and here's to another amazing concert in my lifetime. I'm Baphomet. Cheers, Metal Maniacs.